Illegal mining and its adverse impact on several water bodies across the country still remain a matter of concern. Successive governments have attempted to salvage the situation but to no avail. The incumbent New Patriotic Party government under President Akufado took some steps including the introduction of Operation Vanguard to tackle the menace. Although a handful of illegal miners were arrested with their equipment seized and demolished in some cases, the menace has not ended. Several water bodies remain polluted, making them unwholesome for use. This has also affected the treatment of water by the Ghana Water Company Limited in some parts of the country. It appears a solution to the problem has been difficult to come by. It is against this backdrop that the University of Mines and Technology developed a technology to clear the turbid water bodies. We have a short-term strategy and we have a long-term strategy. The short term is to get the rivers to look good within the shortest possible time. And that we will do by mixing our chemicals, getting a drone and flying across the rivers. If we move from Kukuom to Shama with a drone and go back from Shama to Kukuom, Hopefully, by the time we get back to Kuku, the waters would have cleared. In the long term, we are looking at setting up workstations inside the rivers, about 50 kilometers apart. Within these workstations, we are going to introduce some solid chemicals that have got a delayed release of ions. Presenting the project to the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources and other stakeholders, the Vice-Chancellor of UMAT expressed confidence in its efficacy. It is not as expensive as some of the other presentations that have gone on ahead of us. For instance, some people have presented where they want to use $4.5 for one meter cube of um, water. Ours is less than 10% of that. And what we want to do immediately is that when we go back to Takwa, there's a small river um, close to our school where small-scale miners also work. We are going to use that as a demonstration point where we will set up a workstation to clear that water mm. so that if you come around, then we say, oh, this is the water coming which is dirty and this is the clear water after passing through the workstation mm. and this is what we intend to do across Ghana. The ministry says the project would be submitted to the appropriate quarters for observation and action. Having gotten this uh, important headway with the University of Mines and Technology, it gives us hope that the battle will be won. And I'm sure uh, by the end of June, we will see the realities in our respective river bodies. Uh, technically, we will send the uh, technology to the appropriate uh, institutions to also do their bits of regulatory measures and get them done.